Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media, I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm going to talk about backing up, the importance of backups, what types of backups there are, whether it's network, storage or whether it's online. And I'm doing this from a very sort of newbie perspective because I've never done network storage before, it's always been online, so uh, a complete beginner's guide I suppose to backing up. So of course I probably don't have to stress the importance of backups. I imagine lots of viewers are similar to me in position where you're sort of just getting into the um, freelance work and you might be working for a client and you possibly aren't really thinking about backups. I have had situations in the past where hard drives have died, managed to recover most things but you just have to be very very careful because you can really ruin your reputation and ruin the job that you're doing and it can be kind of career destroying um, or certainly really impact your career if you're not backing up properly so make sure you're doing it. There's lots of things that can happen to you. Hard drive failures, computer failures, are not that common these days as they used to be, but it still happens, so you do have to watch out for it. Depending on how careful you are and how security aware you are, you've got the risk of ransomware and getting hacked. But there's also the classic of just accidentally deleting something, which is something I seem to do every now and again, and just lose a file. It often happens to me with video files when I'm transferring them from one place to another, and then I've some, something's happened in between and I lose that file and it's very frustrating. So you may feel it's not as important for you if you're just a hobbyist and I would actually agree with you if you're not too worried about your uh, work uh, getting lost and you're just improving slowly over time then you really don't have to panic that much and you can upload your work to things like ArtStation or portfolio pages and in a sense that works as a backup. But if you are getting into the freelance game and uh, doing a few jobs then you've really got to consider it and really think carefully about where your files are so that you can deliver on time and not get caught out. So the types of backup I want to compare is the classic sort of online, you've got Google Drive and you've got Dropbox type scenarios against the network storage which is sort of NAS storage. So I've been lucky enough to be sent a drive by Synology, so this is a NAS drive and this is sort of the cheapest one you can get on the market. Synology are quite a big player, they're particularly good with the software, but they actually produce drives as well, and this one is particularly good. So I'll be taking my experience of network storage and comparing it to my experience of online storage. So there's some advantages with online, the fact that it's very simple to set up, it's very easy to use, and it's not particularly expensive, although it could become expensive if you've got lots of files on there. There are slight disadvantages to it in the fact that you have to have a pretty good internet connection in order to keep backing big files up and there is a slight chance you could get hacked into depending on the security of your passwords and so forth. So obviously it's a good option for many people, quite affordable, £1.59 I think for 100 gigabytes. So that's pretty good and it's something like £15.99 a year. It can be fairly straightforward and quite easy. You just have a folder and you drag everything in there and it just uploads automatically. But again, a good internet connection is required depending on the file sizes. So how about the network storage option? Well, I've been trying this out for the last couple of weeks and it's quite interesting really in terms of comparison. You could obviously use them both together if you want to be super secure, but I think that's probably overdoing it for what uh, we might want to use it for. So this one's called the DS120J. It's one of their cheaper ones. It's about 100 pounds. You do need a drive to go inside it. So I've got a four gigabyte drive, which was about 75 pounds. So obviously the initial startup costs here are going to be quite high, depending on what you call high in terms of costs. Uh, this is the cheapest option I could go for. So there are definite advantages to this and speed is certainly one of them. You can quickly drag and drop something onto your network drive and it's very quick and simple. The setup is very slightly more tricky than if you're doing it online, but it is actually surprisingly quick and easy. I think Synology are particularly good at that and they do make it nice and easy. I, I actually downloaded an app on my phone and looked for the NAS drive and uh, it popped up, installed, and it was actually very, very straightforward. And that's coming from someone who's never done anything like this before. There are lots of other advantages which I haven't really looked into properly, but I know that Synology as a software company, they've got lots of solutions and lots of options for different types of software, for auto backups and so forth. And that's a tiny bit more complicated, and for me anyway it was, uh, but it's got those options. They've also got sort of options for photo storage, and if you're doing anything with video and you want to back that up, then you're going to want to do something a bit more local because of the file sizes. 
So obviously this is something that I'm happily using at the moment and will continue to use. But if I started again and uh, in my position as I am now, uh, with the costs that are involved, I'd probably stick with online storage because at the moment I'm using fairly small file sizes for just simple Blender files. But as the file sizes get bigger, it's something that I would want to consider. So if you're doing something like lots of rendering and you want to back up those renders, and personally I just tend to stick with just the Blender file and re-render if I lost anything, but that can be very time consuming. So if you want to back those up, then you're probably going to want something that's local. Uh, in terms of just simple low file size Blender files, uh, then I'd personally go for the online option. I suppose it is possible if you're doing something quite high profile and very private, then you might not want to be uploading things uh, into the internet and therefore uh, local storage is gonna be more suitable for you. So lastly, it's worth saying that I'm impressed with Synology in terms of the hardware and the software particularly, and how easy it was to set up for a low cost solution, local solution, uh, I think this is fantastic. But I would like to stress to everybody out there the importance of backing up, especially if you're getting freelance work or client-based work of some description, make sure you are backing up to avoid any awkward situations. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.